Well, this should not surprise anyone. This is exactly what I thought was going to happen after the reports came out that Elon Musk was really slimming down. Apparently, he's on Ozempic. He's doing great. I had said Elon Musk had a sleeper build, and he was just bulking, and now his advisors are saying, no, he's got a six-pack, he's super sexy, he looks great, and he's got such a massive size advantage on Zuckerberg, and even the sports books are now admitting Musk would kick Zuckerberg's ass, and, and guys, let's just go back to how this whole thing, this was just yesterday, Elon Musk comes out and says on X, the fight will be managed by my and Zuck's foundations, not the UFC. Livestream will be on this platform and meta. Everything in camera frame will be ancient Rome, so nothing modern at all. I spoke to the Prime Minister of Italy and the Minister of Culture. They have agreed on the epic location. So great news. Everything is agreed upon. Elon Musk calls out Mark Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg responds in a little Instagram post saying send location. And now Musk is completely confirming everything is on. This was just, this. oh, this was two days ago. So this was two days ago on the 11th. Everything done will pay respect to the past and present of Italy. All of the proceeds will go to veterans. Musk had an MRI. You can see how was the MRI. I spent three hours in an MRI machine on Monday. Bottom line is that my C5, C6 fusion is solid, so it's not an issue. However, there is a problem with my right shoulder blade rubbing against my ribs, which requires minor surgery, and the recovery will only take a few months. So it seems like they're, you know, Musk is trying to set up a fight maybe right at the beginning, maybe New Year's Day of 2024, or maybe in the March of 2024, but then we get this from Mark Zuckerberg, and number one, I believe this was posted to Threads, so, although maybe this is, I don't know if this is Threads or not, but uh, Mark Zuckerberg, we all know Threads, they've lost 82% of their users uh, since, you know, the site launched, it's been a complete disaster, Zuckerberg comes out and says, I think we can all agree Elon isn't serious, and it's time to move on, so what? Elon Musk just two days ago said on X that he's ready. It's going to be a few months. He's hinting at New Year's Day 2024 maybe as a fight time. And now Zuckerberg says, I think we can all agree Elon isn't serious and it's time to move on. No, Elon wants to confirm the fight time. He just said it two days ago. I offered a real date. Dana White offered to make this a legit competition for charity. Elon won't confirm a date, then says he needs surgery, and now asks to do a practice round in my backyard instead. I'm not sure where he's getting that from. It looks like Elon, unless something changed within two days, Elon wants the fight to be at the Coliseum. If Elon ever gets serious about a real date, an official event, he knows how to reach me. Otherwise, time to move on. I'm going to focus on competing with people who take the sport seriously. So, it seems like Zuckerberg wised up here and has completely backed out of this fight and is trying to swing it and say, oh, I, I talked about a time, now he needs surgery, this, that, and the other, when in reality, it does look like Zuckerberg is trying to create excuses not to fight Musk. Doesn't surprise me at all. And it is sad. And hopefully this fight happens. Hopefully the money goes to charities and all of it. Seems like Zuckerberg is completely lying here in an attempt to make himself look better. And I'm someone who's just completely independent, super neutral. Um, and, And I'm even saying that, no, I think Musk would destroy Zuckerberg as a well-known fight expert, you know, I study these things, look into them. Uh, Musk just has such a reach advantage. He's been training twice a day, and it's not surprising. And then everyone says, oh my goodness, Zuckerberg does jiu-jitsu. Zuckerberg weighs about 110 pounds soaking wet. No one is scared of Zuckerberg. I can guarantee you that. Uh, but that's just the situation. We'll have. I think it's still going to happen. But what a weird thing for Zuckerberg to say, oh, Elon Musk is not serious, even though two days ago, Elon Musk confirms the fight is going to be at the Coliseum. But either way, we've also got our good friend, Chris Christie. You know, my new uh, joke with Chris Christie is that he he, he spends his time at three places, CNN, 
MSNBC, and Dunkin' Donuts. Those are the three places that Chris Christie goes. I mean, you can see video after video, Chris Christie, the script, he's the conservative that's against Trump, and he has the moral high ground to stand up to Trump, and it's basically every day he does a 10-minute hit on CNN, an angry Trump, what Chris Christie thinks about a second Trump term, Christie on Trump's free speech defense. There is always a limit to free speech. Chris Christie returns from a surprise trip to Ukraine. Oh my goodness, with tales of horror, yes, because it's so, the whole Ukraine thing is so funny. Bipartisan, everyone agreed Ukraine was completely corrupt. Now, I'm not saying they should have been invaded, but there is, it, it is so much under the surface with Ukraine. But now we're like, oh, Ukraine is this, you know, unbelievable country. Totally corrupt government, bipartisan, Democrats, Republicans all agreed back in 2019, 2020 before the invasion happened. Now the invasion happens and you're not allowed to say anything bad about Ukraine. Chris Christie reveals the exact moment he broke with Trump. Christie says Donald Trump is a con artist. Chris Christie responds to Trump's insults, and now Christie is saying, oh my, you know what, I think Christie might be part of the reason Trump is not debating, and the reason I say that is because Christie's entire campaign is completely disingenuous. It is a total waste of money. It, I would not be surprised if the only donor money Christie is getting to where he's getting propped up in these primaries, like he's pulling at 5% in New Hampshire. The reason he's pulling at 5% or whatever it is, those are all Democrats voting in a Republican primary poll. There is no conservative that is voting for Chris Christie. A lot of his talking points aren't even conservative. They're not even conservative, so uh, Christie is the Democrats' little butt boy, little, uh, you know, pool slave, and he's come out, and in every video, MSNBC, CNN, he rotates between them. It is a total waste of money. Honestly, when you look at the Republican candidates, how many of them are actually running for the nomination? Like, legitimately, when you look at Nikki Haley, do we really think, like, I guess maybe Nikki Haley thinks she can win. I think she's running to try and be a vice president, honestly, for whether it's Trump or who, maybe DeSantis. Maybe Nikki Haley thought DeSantis was going to win, and it was going to be Nikki Haley and DeSantis with her as the vice president. Mike Pence, it's just such a waste of money with Mike Pence. It, there's just, there's no... There's no path forward for Mike Pence. He's not going to be vice president. He certainly is not going to be president. All of the Trump people hate him. Ramaswamy is a real wild card, but it seems like Ramaswamy's honestly his only chance at winning the Republican nomination is if Trump somehow gets disqualified from the field. Because I can't see all the Trump supporters switching over to Ramaswamy. Ramaswamy and Trump are considered the main anti-establishment. So Ramaswamy, if something happens to Trump to where he gets disqualified, Ramaswamy would have a big advantage. But also with Trump, I think it's very obvious he's probably just going to run no matter what. Like, he'll run from prison. This is his last hurrah. I mean, when you look at his age, this is it. DeSantis, his campaign has unfortunately went up in smoke and that's a big problem for conservatives because he's a guy that used to have like a 10 to 15 plus approval rating it's gone in the opposite direction and I think a lot of that has to do with a lot of the MAGA people turning against DeSantis because they view him as the number one threat to Trump and at this point, DeSantis handled his campaign completely wrong. He should have won on all the talk shows. He should have, you know, you don't come out at the beginning of the campaign against Trump. You ease into it. But he came out guns blazing. I, I, I will agree with him that Trump was enticing him, but he should not have hit back that fast. And now he's paying for it. But, but overall, the Chris Christie stuff is just so disingenuous. Let's be honest, guys. It, like, it's just such a waste of time. And he'll be at the debate. And I'm sure I actually want to see what Christie has to say at the debate because Trump's probably not going to be there. And I do think, listen, it's a primary. I don't care how many points you're up by, you're not the incumbent. You need to go and debate. I think Trump should be there, but I just hope there's no complete losers at the debate because it's just a waste of time if they bring people on that have 1% in terms of polls. The only people that should be there, I mean, you know, DeSantis, Ramaswamy, 
Nikki Haley, Tim Scott. I'm sure people will start liking Tim Scott, but there's no way Tim Scott. Maybe they'll have Tim Scott be the vice president. I don't know. But either way, guys, the big story, it looks like Zuckerberg is backing out of this. It, it, this is a he said, he said little hissy fight. And Musk two days ago says it's happening, you know, probably early 2024 once my shoulder is fixed. And Zuckerberg takes that and says, what did he say exactly? Oh, Elon isn't serious and it's time to move on. That's funny. But people think because Zuckerberg does jujitsu, uh, you know, he's going to beat Musk when he weighs about 105 pounds soaking wet. Uh, but either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.